When it comes to reviewing SSD drives, sometimes it can be extremely difficult to compare different drives in showing the actual performance differences in different real-world scenarios. On this video, I have decided to compare my years-old Samsung 970 EVO Plus 2TB drive against the recently released Kingston Fury Renegade G5 4TB drive. Looking at the specs themselves, we can already notice that these drives are years apart from each other in terms of features and technologies. And if we take a closer look, we can notice that the Samsung drive has been released over 6 years ago. In the synthetic tests like Crystal Disk Mark, we can notice that basically Kingston is simply destroying this Samsung drive when it comes to these values and there is no doubt which one of these ones is a faster SSD drive. In 3D Mark storage benchmark, the situation is the same. We are comparing also the temperature and Kingston is surprisingly 2 degrees less because more often than not these uh, PCIe 5.0 drives used to be hotter than the previous generations but in this case that is definitely not the case. In 3D Mark storage access time we can notice that the Kingston Fury is definitely faster drive here and this is something what some of the users might actually notice because access time is actually telling us how quickly these applications are actually launching or popping up on the screen. Moving to Windows Startup, Samsung is actually a bit faster than Kingston but nevertheless the difference should be included in the margin of error. I would say that there is no difference whatsoever for better or worse. And regarding the file copy, I tried to copy Forza Horizon installation folder using Robocopy built-in tool in Windows. With Samsung it took over 5 minutes to copy these files, while with Kingston it took approximately 2.5 minutes. Regarding the temperatures, also at this test we can notice that Samsung was hitting almost 70 degrees Celsius while Kingston was staying around 60. Between the tests I have actually migrated the old data from Samsung Drive over to Kingston by using RescueZilla and with RescueZilla I really wanted to basically leave the original drive untouched without actually installing any kind of migration applications in Windows whatsoever. So all I did, I created a bootable USB drive, I boot my PC using this USB drive into RescueZilla and then I have selected clone from one drive to another. I selected as a source drive this uh, Samsung drive and as a target drive this uh, Kingston drive. It took me a while to migrate the data, approximately about 2 terabit. I think it lasted ar around 13 or uh, less than 15 minutes at least. And after that I needed to resize the partition because obviously I have, I have been migrating data from the smaller drive to the bigger one and RescueZilla cannot know what I want to do with the unused space on the Kingston drive. So I had to move this partition on at the end of this drive in order to combine this available space to my C drive because I want to use all four terabits of drive as my C drive. This is something of course which can share opinions from user to user but nevertheless this is the trick you have to do if you want to use this drive as a one single drive in your Windows as well. And after that I have checked is my Windows actually in a good shape and it definitely was I couldn't notice any kind of uh, errors whatsoever while running these commands and checking the health of my Windows operating system. I even checked the disk by rebooting the Windows and no errors whatsoever. So I would say that basically I couldn't notice any difference while migrating the data, which is great because this is something I want to stay intact between comparing these drives against each other just not to affect the results themselves. And now when it comes to real world scenarios I really have to admit something to you. Um, unfortunately noticing any kind of differences was really really hard process to me. I didn't want to shoot with the overspeed camera to see is there point whatever seconds difference or not because I just really wanted to kind of use my PC or for a couple of weeks and see can I notice anything or not. And to be completely honest with you, I would say that Cyberpunk 2077 is launching maybe one or two seconds faster, if even that. That can of course be caused by placebo as well, so I wouldn't take that for granted. 
opening productivity applications like DaVinci Resolve or Affinity Photo 2, I couldn't notice any kind of difference whatsoever. So in conclusion, I would say that if you're after a new SSD drive, definitely consider this Kingston Fury Renegade G5 because it's one of the fastest consumer drive available on the market right now. And also if you are for a bigger drive, you want to replace your older, smaller drive, whatever, that in that case, it can be worth checking out. But if you are purely for extra performance, faster speed in terms of launching those games, applications whatsoever, I would have a hard time recommending this unless you are copying files and moving files from drive to drive and you need that extra performance whatsoever. So hopefully this video has been informative to you. My name is Leo and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.